What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Air Zoom Terra Kyger 7 from Nike. So this is part of Nike's trail shoe running collection. And as you know, cross country season has started and a lot of people will be hitting the trails. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this trail shoe, review the specs and see how it stacks up against the other Nike shoes out there and see if this shoe is for you. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your contribution and support. So let's get this review started. So we'll start out with the specs of this shoe. So this trail shoe was released on April of 2021. The cost of this is $140, so $10 more than the rest of the other Red Nike trail shoes. Um, the offset for this shoe is 4.5 millimeters with a 12 in the forefoot and 16.5 in the heel. And it, for a size 8.5, which is what I am, it weighs at about 9.9 .9 ounces. So it's about half an ounce lighter uh, than the rest of the Nike running collection. So this is probably the lightest shoe for the Nike trail shoes. And indeed, it's probably one of the fastest trail shoes out there as well for Nike. Um, so I didn't have to change my size while getting this trail shoe this fit uh, true to size So I didn't have any issues with that. So overall the fit of the shoe is very comfortable There's plenty of room in this shoe and I didn't find it to be too narrow or too tight um, uh, There's great lockdown in the middle of the shoe uh, with the tongue as well as the lace system going and also on the back there's a pull tab that you can use um, to get your foot in so overall i really like the fit of this shoe and there wasn't any really concerns that i had um, regarding the fit um, this is one of their latest color this orange color uh, but they do have plenty of different other options out there if you're interested in getting you know a trail shoe in a different color and orange might not be for you so let's go over the components of the shoe so the shoe is made up of a mesh and synthetic upper right here which is very standard um, you know you've seen these if you've had nike shoes they've probably used these for a lot of shoes it's very breathable it's lightweight and it's comfortable um, you have the very padded tongue on top which is very nice uh, so when you're lacing up your shoe it doesn't feel too tight on the top of your foot and it makes it very comfortable there's a ton of padding all around the edge around the heel area of the shoe so you know protects your heel and it's very comfortable as well and then there's a heel pull tab in the back which is very standard in trail shoes and nike's had this in pretty much all of their trail shoes helped you get in your shoe and also it's great to you know just kind of hold it uh, like that um in the front you have rubber reinforcements around the toe area to protect your you know toes from you know, rocks or any other hard objects as well as the toe rubber toe fan in the front so you don't hit anything and bust your toes up um, in the bottom you have the air zoom unit um, that has, gives you an extra bounce and support and energy return that Nike has used in other like uh, regular running shoes on the roads um, because a nice support and cushion for you while running on the terrain to give you an extra push and so you can run a little bit faster and it's also a little bit more comfortable and on the bottom you have the full react foam which is you know Nike's uh, kind of a go-to foam right now that they've been putting in all of their shoes uh, it's very lightweight it's you know very durable and it's good with energy returns so it's a very nice foam that um, nike's been using um, their top of the line foam is the you know zoom x foam but that's used for like racing and your marathon shoes or you know uh, for that and it's not really that durable for trails so those foam will probably get destroyed if you're running on the trails 
and then on the bottom of the shoe you have the rubber lugs um, this year they kind of changed the pattern of the lugs compared to last year which a lot of people complain about slipping in wet surfaces so this year it's a lot better uh, it's got a lot of attraction on it and it's kind of split between the top and bottom so you know both of your the top and bottom will react differently depending on how you step um, on the terrain so the Terra Kyger 7 is part of Nike's trail shoe running collection. They do also have the Pegasus Trail 3 and the Wild Horse 7, which is also out right now. Um, the main difference between these shoes, um, the Terra Tiger 7, it's probably the lightest of those three. It weighs um, for a size 10 at 10.9 ounces, while the Trail 3 at a size 10 weighs at about 11.3, and the Wild Horse 11.14. So the Terra Tiger 7 is about half an ounce lighter than the other trail shoes that Nike has. Um, that could make a difference and um, offset is also a little bit different so the offset of the Terra Kiger 7 is 4.5 millimeters with a 12 in the forefoot and 16.5 in the heel while in the Trail 3 you have a 9.5 millimeter offset with 15 and 24.5 in the heel and then the Workhorse 7 is an 8 millimeter offset with a 14.5 and 22.5 and like I said the Terra Kiger 7 is $10 more compared to those other two shoes. This shoe almost feels like a regular road shoe um, you know usually when I put on trail shoes I feel the lugs on the bottom and it gives you kind of that elevation where your feet it feels like you're stepping on soccer cleats but in this shoe when I put it in it feels like just a regular running shoe and I actually can run on the road with these and it really won't make a difference um, so this is definitely a nice feature to have about the shoe. I mean, the big difference between the other two shoes, in my opinion, uh, is the Pegasus Trail shoes line would be more for a well-rounded all type of terrain kind of running shoe. If you just want to bring one shoe with you that can do, you know, light terrain or heavy terrain. Um, but, you know, and then the Wild Horse 7, I, in my opinion, it would be the shoe that I would pick for, you know, something that's very rocky terrain or something that's very, you know, multiple uh, surfaces that are not very soft or even. So the Wild Horse 7, in my opinion, has the most grip. Um, it's better suited for, you know, harsher conditions and terrain. And then the Terra Kiger 7, in my opinion, would be something that I would use uh, for very light terrain and something you know that you want to go fast in where there's not a lot of rocks or branches sticking out. Very soft uh, dirt trails that you can use and run fast in without having to worry about you know objects or things in your way. So first run in this shoe definitely reminded me of the Pegasus Trail 3. They both use the Nike React foam, which is, you know, is great and it's so soft running in the trails and the cushion that it gives you. And with the Terra Kiger 7, you also get the Air Zoom um, unit in the front of the shoe, which is very nice. It gives you the extra bounce and support while running in the trails. Um, this is definitely the fastest trail shoe that Nike has out there. Uh, feels like a regular running shoe on the road. Uh, I was able to go super fast in, in this and you know it's just it's lightweight and it reminds me of the Pegasus 36 trail that I really like. Um, it's also very comfortable with the padding around the heel area as well as the thick tongue and the lugs this year is a lot better in terms of wet terrain so I didn't have any issues with that. Um, you just have to be careful while running if you do have any like obstructions like tree roots or rocks that you don't step on them because you'll definitely feel that on the bottom of the shoe because it's not as you know rigid as the other trail shoes but overall it'll be a comfortable ride if you run in light terrain it'll be very um, you'll be able to go super fast in it and you can even run on the road if you really want to because when I put these in it literally feels like a road running shoe. And one thing to keep in mind with these light profile shoes is you have to watch out for your ankles. If you're prone to rolling your ankles, if you do step on something, you know, there's definitely a chance of that. Um, I've rolled my ankles tons of times in the trails uh, with low profile running shoes. So you would have to, you know, uh, be careful with the shoe since, you know, it's meant to go fast, but it doesn't have a lot of ankle protections. Um, in terms of water resistance, um, this shoe isn't very water resistant. So if you do get it wet or you step in a puddle, your shoe will definitely get wet. Um, this mesh and synthetic upper, you'll have to, it'll get dirty real quick if you're all over in the mud. Um, so you'll definitely have to scrub it or clean it after every run. But, you know, what's the point? Um, you know, the trail shoe is meant to get dirty, right? Um, but other than that, the rest parts of the shoe are made of rubber. Um, so you can clean those pretty easily. The bottom of the shoe, the lugs, you know, I was able to wipe it pretty clean. But, you know, it'll get dirty real quick. So you'll, um, like me, if you want to just clean it with a quick spray every time, this shoe ensures that the shoe will last longer than um, it's supposed to be. 
So to summarize, if you're looking for a trail shoe in the Nike collection, if you want to go fast or you want you run in very light trails, the Terra Kiger 7 might be for you. If you're a person that likes to run in variable trails or terrain where it might be a little bit more rough, the Pegasus 3 would definitely do the job. And if it's no very heavy terrain, it's very wet conditions, the Wild Horse 7 will probably be your best bet. It's actually a little bit lighter than the Pegasus Trail 3. So Nike does give you different options for shoes if you're running in the trails. Um, but in my opinion, I think the Terra Kiger 7 is my uh, favorite go-to shoe now. For trail running since my you know trails aren't that heavy in terms of terrain and the pegasus trail 3 is definitely a great shoe as well but in my opinion i like the lighter shoe and this kind of reminds me of the pegasus 36 trail that i loved on running in it was just light soft and felt like i was running um in a road shoe in the trails so uh, for people that like to go fast with minimal padding and you know and restrictions then the terra kiger 7 would definitely be the shoe for you so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback regarding the shoe. Or if you guys, you know, have your own favorite trail shoe out there, I would love to hear what you guys like to use. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope you guys are all staying safe out there and your training's going well. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.